Here is a typical Sudanese dwelling with a decorative straw and wooden roof. Uh, Karen and yourself, some nine years ago, founded UTS with a quite large group of pupils, some teachers under a tree in Panthai, north of Malek. Now we're at a situation where we have a solid group of buildings and we're not under a tree anymore. So where now is your understanding of the mission of the school and your vision for the future? Uh, the mission of the school is still the same. Uh, we want it uh, to reflect uh, Jesus' love uh, and, uh, and mercy uh, to the people. The Under Tree School has been uh, uh, a school that uh, encourages people during the war, especially the children. So it was uh, founded on the vision that learning is yes, not only uh, science but also about God. Uh, it was very simple and that vision has not changed. Uh, we wanted to have a very, very good education uh, to the on, uh, on, on Christ. Uh, the other thing that we wanted to do is to bring the community together uh, in to, to this project in which under tree has done during the war people were fighting but under tree has become something that people uh, rely uh, rally around it and uh, I think under tree school gave them uh, something that they can do together uh, for their children in a situation that was hopeless to do anything else where children were taking to war as boy soldiers. The school is pretty much built and opens indeed tomorrow for the first time receiving girls for classes. It's been a great achievement by Joseph and his team here and by each and every one of you listening to this who has contributed in prayers and in financial support to the building of the school. The future of the country, indeed, is perhaps in the balance, but we will remain faithful to Joseph and the team here in our prayers and in our support, confident that God will honour all that we give in his name. This 13-year-old girl is going to school for the first time in her life. The opening of the permanent school is an important milestone in the history of the UTS. We are very encouraged to see what has been achieved so far and continue to work alongside the community in Malek. In the next year, we will start to build a library and chapel. Vocational training is being planned, for example, in agriculture, bike repairs, health training, tailoring and more. Yet it is not only about vocational and educational skills. After decades of war, it is very much about discovering and bringing to fruition the gifts and skills God has laid in the children and people in Malek. We have much to learn from them. <laughs> For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. <laughs> Why, Chirichan, young, eh? 